Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and today we are talking about something amazing that's happening in the IT industry and that is Autonomous Linux by Oracle. And why this is so much of something that we should talk about and why this is important for everybody in the IT industry. Let's focus on that, let's understand what is this Autonomous Linux, how it is going to impact us as a daily developers and daily users and what good it will bring to the society and to the world of IT. So usually whenever there is a stage event, most of the highlights is taken by Apple or maybe Google. But other companies also host their stage events like Tesla, Oracle, Microsoft and a bunch of others including GitHub as well. So sometimes there are amazing news in that but most of the people are talking about just the phones. That's why these amazing news actually don't get much attention. But for that, we are here. First and foremost, let's understand what is this autonomous Linux. And in order to understand it, first and foremost, we need to understand why there is a need of it. What is the problem that it's trying to solve? If you are a web developer, you might be having some of the hosting accounts on websites like GoDaddy, Hostinger, Bluehost or any other as well. If you are a regular user also, then also you might have received some of the emails that says, hey, we are having some of the maintenance or we are having some of the scaling up things. That's why our website is going to face a downtime during this and this amount of period. This is a scheduled maintenance, so you don't need to worry about anything. These are very common and everybody understands that in order to maintain the servers, apply some of the security patches, these servers need to reboot and sometimes there is a downtime. So this is not at all a big issue, this is not at all a big problem, but certainly it is a problem. Now on top of that, there is one also big issue which is zero days. I'll probably talk about the zero days in some other videos but right now let's just understand it a very basic way that whenever a security breach is there in any operating system or its core foundation, then applying a security patch on that is almost impossible at an, at an immediate level. We have to look out for when we can have the scheduled maintenance being, uh, being taken care and then we can only apply those patches. It sounds little bit scary that why we are not doing right away for something for the security but sometimes it's not possible, it's not feasible for the business to do it exactly at the same moment. So these are some of the challenging issues what server guys have to maintain and all these hostings and wherever you see any cloud infrastructure, these things happen over there. The solution of all these problems is definitely in something which is known as autonomous and Oracle came out with first of its own solution which is autonomous Linux. Now some of you might be wondering is this a new branch of Linux or maybe a new flavor, new version of the Linux? No it's not, it's basically built on top of existing Oracle Linux which a lot of people are already using in the servers. So this is not something new, this is an upgrade over the existing Oracle Linux. But definitely the working part of this autonomous Linux is completely new and completely different and it sounds a little bit like a magic that is happening over here. The claims are very bold. It says uh, it's going to reduce almost like no downtime. It's going to automatically scale it up. It's automatically going to tune it up. It's automatically going to scale it up even and will apply the security patches and everything without human connection. So this is a little bit scary and a little bit magically as well but yes this is where we are moving uh, in order to reduce all these downtimes and security breaches and all of it. Now this autonomous Linux by Oracle is definitely going to enhance and uh, enhance the productivity of the staff, is definitely going to reduce the downtime, self-tuning is always amazing, self-scaling is also amazing and there are a few features which are being claimed by by the Oracle. So let's take a look on these four features which are claimed openly by Oracle that what this autonomous Linux is going to give to all of us. The first thing is going to be cost effective. Now whenever the word comes up cost effective, uh, it's something great for business but not really great for a beginner or daily person who is enjoying his job as a, a manager for these Linux and all bunch of things. Now since a lot of things are going to be autonomous, then definitely these people either need to be uh, leveling one game up into the skills so that they can do something which these autonomous things cannot do. Programming can be one of that thing. But sure, 
surely it's going to be really cost effective and of course whenever there is even like an hour of a downtime that means a loss of business a lot of people think that hey uh, this is this happens during the night time but remember most of the big companies in the world they work 24 hours and even one hour of downtime means there is going to be the downtime for website means imagine this one hour of downtime of the Amazon imagine how many products are not being shipped uh, during that one hour imagine how many sales are declining during that just one hour so definitely it's going to impact the cost that is the number one feature the second most important thing is about the immediate impact on the security now whenever the zero day comes out you don't have to worry about when the next maintenance cycle is you can apply these patches immediately on these autonomous uh, Linux because there is no downtime and you don't have to worry much about these downtiming so immediate patches to these zero days is something I like it the third thing which we have already discussed somehow in between which is highly available system since there is no downtime they are always available which is another good thing for it now fourth thing this can be a pro or this can be a con depends on how you look on it now it says autonomous autonomous in itself is a pro and a con both at the same time many times security patches or some of the update patches that are applied by humans and humans are uh, prone to make errors so sometimes these patches are incorrectly applied that means more trouble more problems so with these autonomous this can be reduced down to a very high level but this means that definitely there is going to be some shortcutting of the jobs in this cycle so yes we are bringing up autonomous in the linux cycle here which is everything looks amazing and awesome but there might be some of the cutting of the jobs during this autonomous linux which again at the same time is a good thing is a bad thing so yeah i leave that to you to describe me in the comment section is autonomous linux a good thing or a bad thing let me know in the comment section now the most important thing is that Oracle holds this autonomous Linux currently. So right now in the market there is just one autonomous Linux available which is from Oracle. Is it going to be pricey? Maybe a little bit. But the good thing is once the thing is being introduced in the IT industry and world, it never is going to be just remaining as just one. It is surely going to update. Somebody as we are talking right now is working hard on this autonomous Linux so that their company can also launch the version of this autonomous Linux via their platform so surely more people will come out with this autonomous Linux that means we are gonna see more automation in this server side scale industry which is definitely something which you should uh, watch out for the future and of course one more thing I'll link down in the description section a PDF for uh, most frequently asked questions about autonomous uh, FAQs and all of that this is a direct PDF from the Oracle so you can download this uh, from the description section and I highly recommend you to read out about it at least least it's gonna give you a lot of knowledge about uh, something which you don't see always around you maybe you are an Android developer or iOS developer or anything else it's something that everybody should read out it's surely going to help you and the most important thing is hitting that subscribe button which is absolutely necessary now so go ahead hit that subscribe button and I'll come back with another such amazing video where we are gonna learn something new something awesome together that's it for this video hit that subscribe button and hit that like button also to give me some motivation and I'll surely catch you up in the next video